So the first thing that I do when I'm messing around with these SMD LEDs, and right here at the very tip of that resistor, you can see the SMD LED and how small it is, is I try to find which side is positive and which side is negative with my tester. So there we've got an SMD LED lighting up, and you can see how small it is. In fact, I lost it. Oh, there it is. It popped over here. Well, now I lost its orientation. The important thing is when you're testing these things is to put them in the orientation that you want to pick them up and put them on your board. So I'm going to test it here again. There we go. So positive is on the left, negative is on the right, and I know that's the orientation we want it on the board. So once I've established the polarity, I'm going to maneuver my tweezers into place to pick up the SMD LED and I'm going to put it in the position where I want it and then I'm going to take my soldering iron and I'm going to hit the pot. This is the actual negative end of it and that's it. So there's the SMD resistor in place and I give it a little test nudge so on this particular board which this is a uh, this is an old spark 2 but the the positive for the L accent LEDs which these are all accent LED pads is right here and I'll run a resistor tail over to touch the positive ends of all these SMD LEDs you know you have to be careful because you've got other circuitry close by but I'm actually running the resistor tails on top of these SMD LEDs and there's no exposed pads or anything here where the you know the other side's going to bridge something that you don't want bridged so you have to inspect the board and make sure that it can take it but you know this SMD LED is ready for a positive line and then I'll show you you know a closer up of what they look like on the igniter which I'm going to demonstrate for you in a bit so this is the igniter and you kind of got to uh, you know ignore some of my insanity here because this igniter is actually wired for bench testing right now but on the igniter this is your the VLED positive here is the positive pad for all the LEDs and then this is LED pad 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and I used 8 SMD LEDs here uh, and I went in a pattern I went blue, green, blue, white blue, green, blue, red, just so it was, you know, kind of crazy. So the negatives, the negative sides are these pads. These are the, the negative for each LED pad. Then the positive is this VLED, and you can see, and it's kind of precarious, because you have a lot of other circuitry here you can't touch. And not only that, the 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 SD holder here is grounded so you your positive can't touch that either or you'll short it out so you have to carefully maneuver that resistor tail so you're not touching this because it's grounded and that you're not touching any of the other electronic components so basically I run this resistor tail on the on the upper edge of the SMD LED so if you imagine the SMD LED is like a box and this is the end like if it was heavily magnified this is actually the the LED the the string on my positive is actually sitting on top of the SMD LEDs instead of sitting on the board. So the, my positive line here actually doesn't even touch the board. It's soldered to the top of each of these SMD LEDs. And I'm getting ready to demonstrate this to you. I don't know how it's going to show up here because I'm using a GoPro, so I don't know if it's going to be focused or not. But there's eight SMD LEDs, all of different colors. And yes, the 3.3 volts is going to overdrive the reds and the ambers, but the blues and the greens are fine. Um, you know, and I've wired a bunch of red SMD LEDs on these 3.3 volt pads, and you know, I haven't had any burnout. And if they do, I don't care. I mean, you know, you're talking cents. For these SMD LEDs, they're they're cheap, so if they burn out, I'll just replace it, and no big deal. But um, pretty pretty neat skill here, messing around with these things because they're so much smaller and they're bright. They're pretty awesome. So this is my uh, igniter three, 
and I've put several SMD LEDs on it and I'm gonna run this in demo mode of course it's attached to the NeoPixel blade just so you guys can see you know all of it in totality you can see all the different functions that these uh, LED pads and SMD LEDs can do so here we go demo mode Dual face. Dual phase again, back to the initial color.
dual phase pink. I need to change that color. Niter 3 rocks.